Thank God we use these cubicles. Stage of being a minimalist. We're almost done. I think we just have to empty out the beds, the storage in the beds, which is pretty big, and then we should be good to go. That's the bulk of it. All of our stuff and belongings is right here and in the room upstairs. This is quite a lot. I was expecting it to be much less. I cannot believe that all of this. It's in a rack. Welcome to Panama City. This specific shop is like a haven for camper vans. They do pretty much everything and it really got us thinking that there might be some changes that we have to do in the inside. Kratik is uh, really underselling it. It's not some changes. We want to do a lot of changes. We've been talking about that for so long. After being in the van for two years, we've realized there are a lot of things that don't work, but we just never had the time or a shop that would be willing to take a project. But turns out Overland Embassy here does everything for you. Uh, all your design needs can be catered to. So for the past one week, we have been redesigning our van. And today is the day when the whole process starts. So why are we redesigning? Our seating situation has been a little uncomfortable, to say the least, for the past two years. Mostly because our walls are curved. And the way we designed this couch bed situation doesn't really allow for good posture for sitting. Mainly because we made the bed a little too high and our cushions are thick, which we love for sleeping, but for sitting long term and working like this, doesn't really work. So overall, the kitchen setup is really bulky, it occupies way too much space. When we were building this van, it was mainly just reference point was YouTube, a lot of travelers who were traveling just North America. But what you don't realize, when you're hitting Central America and South America, you're going on some wild terrains and your van needs to be really, really light. So we're just trying to cut out the weight of a kitchen countertop and also moving it to the other side of the van so it's out of the seating area and Everest can come sit with us. The other major change we're making is that right now there's no dedicated spot for a toilet. Yeah, you saw in the van tour, if you haven't yet, version one, that we are able to use a toilet by use it, utilizing the kitchen door as a privacy point, but it's still a little annoying to get to, so we're making a dedicated spot for that. I feel like the coolest upgrade we're doing is like slowly we've started to invest in toys. By toys I mean like a surfboard and a bike. And we are designing a dedicated storage spot for a surfboard and a bike inside the van, so you don't have to worry about it being stolen. Last but not the least, I know Kathy is going to say, I told you so. But right now we have a 70 liter fresh water tank. It just does not work. We can never find a place to fill up the water. We have downgraded to our water storage. We'll be traveling with much less water, much less weight again, and filling up everywhere we go. Cause a tank like this is easy. You can ask anyone to uh, allow you to fill this up, but a 70 liter water, good luck with that. This is the sound that the gods will play to pop the clouds. Live rounds on the gods strip man down. He's right for the night while the highest right take flight. Rain station. This is the rain station where we have been. She is the lead architect. Architect. This is Giovanni, I'm our architect. partner. He's also the architect. So this design process is done in essentially three stages. First, uh, they come check the van, do a rough sketch with their hands. Then they put all the dimensions. Um, in the computer and then they come back and do a very precise measurement of every little corner and then do a 3D design. Last time when I built the van, I had a black diary and I just drew everything and started cutting. This time we are using computers and technology and softwares. Everything is done with right measurements so no mistakes and everything will be perfect. Well, that's what I thought, but things started going downhill very fast. We are working with wood, but we are also working with aluminum. The idea behind that was it's gonna be lighter, it's gonna be stronger, and especially the fact that we will be using it on our bed. Right now, our bed is falling apart from the constant moving back and forth, and with the aluminum structure, we don't have to worry about the bed falling apart anymore. Any input on your new design? You gonna enjoy the front seats? Okay, sounds good. Oh. So it's official, the van is in the shop and there's really no turning back at this point as soon as I start taking out the first drill, first screw, start hammering things down, 
No turning back, Sim. Are you ready for this? I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. We only have eight days to completely rebuild the inside. I'm laughing right now, but crying. <laughs> You okay? Our hard work, version 1 is going demolished. Not all of it though. All Just everything on the floor. The walls remain. But all the furniture the is going off. Chin is out. Oh, that's absolutely filthy. That was a little harder than I thought. Holy shit. We really did a good job screwing these things in because it hasn't been easy to demolish. So. What do you think? It's crazy! Ooh, Gatorade! <laughs> Hydrated! <laughs> I know! <laughs> Everest, <laughs> does this remind you of anything? You remember those days when you were in a parking lot for days? Remember? For months. Remember Everest? Remember playing in Rona? Remember Rona parking lot? Everest, what is your, what is your best memory of Van Bill days? Tell me. What was the best day we did? It is 7 p.m. We've been here for 11 hours. A lot has been accomplished. It is 9.15, still, still, still going strong. You will never find a more committed, more hardworking team to build your van. I can guarantee you that. Okay, let's show you the boys what they're doing. I thought the bed frame was gonna take a few days, but like these guys came around 12. That's when we ordered all the wood and all the aluminum. They're already here. Don't fall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everest, you wanna come up? Everest? We have decided that we need to paint our walls, we need to have an aesthetically different looking van and uh, in order to do that and also to open up the space more, we're going to be painting the walls all white this time. Sim, I've called in reinforcements from Sim, uh, Picasso I'm in the really making. Bad. Dude, last time she painted something, oh, it was a disaster, and she almost kicked the paint bucket down. Like, she's she already doing disaster stuff. She removed the paint bucket. This was not a good reinforcement call, I think. I think she should go back. No, 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 no. You almost kicked that down. Please remove it. <laughs> Day three, baby! We only have five more days exactly. No. Yesterday night I kind of gave up on the whole painting job, but luckily our homies, Roger and Jimmy the chef, gave us a hand and they completed this job. Looks beautiful, much better than what I would have been able to do. Sim gave up after one stroke. Right? Monica, I think it's going to be the hardware store to get some supplies. I'm going to finish cooking Indian food for everyone here in this workshop. Sim, you never miss a chance to feed everybody egg curry. This, this is like the traveling egg curry dish. The thing is, I can't cook meat, so the only thing I cook that meat lovers would enjoy. 
enjoy this egg curry. That's a lot of eggs to feed a village. Okay, this is my friend Jimmy. He has this amazing YouTube channel called Jimmy's Cuisine. That's his channel. Make sure you guys subscribe it and check it out. Lunch is served. Look at you. These are the legends that helped us paint yesterday. Yes. So this section behind me used to be where the kitchen was, so we never really made a wall for it. Now it's where the bed is going to sit. So we're going to have this section of it exposed. So we need it to look pretty. We're still working on these side walls. I don't think the flooring is going in today. I'm definitely going to finish this and then head back to the Airbnb. I'm exhausted. I'm soaked in sweat too. End of day three. Not accomplished much today. So today is day four and what we had thought we'd be working on on the first day. We're finally getting to work on it today. It's the floor. The floor is going in. Our furniture is here! Our furniture is here! All the pieces are designed and then pre-cut by a machine. Uh, that is why instead of cutting individual parts one by one, you get all your parts cut out in one go. You pretty much save like months and months of labor by doing this. And But the challenge ahead of us is assembling these parts, all of it in one go, which can take two to three days. There will be four of us working on this. Uh, and we are trying to design all our furniture in two days. All our furniture. We have 112 pieces to assemble tomorrow. Ervis, you excited to try your new floor? Go in. Try. What do you think of the new floor, Ervis? Do you think you like laying down on this? Hi, Ervis. What do you think? You approve? You approve? I think he approves. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. So time to go get some rest. The assembly day. Day five, today's a big day. Welcome. We're gonna be putting together all the furniture. Uh, all the wood pieces came out yesterday, last night. So we're just gonna assemble them and hopefully fit them all into the van. I think it's gonna take about one or two days. Let's see how fast we get them done. We have some helpers here for that. Now that the furniture is slowly getting ready, we are going to custom fit it to the curves. A lot of stuff that just didn't work yesterday and it was for me personally I was super stressed I almost had like multiple emotional breakdowns because um, we are on a tight deadline I am extremely like this is the most stress I've been in my life Why? yeah I've never been this stressed I literally was crying like I had to go to the washroom and I had like two emotional breakdowns and I sobbed and I came out because I didn't want them to see the how stressed I am um, our van is literally empty shell and we have to ship it inside a container in in two days. I have no hopes. I'm, I'm, I'm being very honest. I think this might be the worst decision of my life doing this van. With only two days to go, we had no time left and that's when we started having sleepless nights and working day in and out in this workshop. It's 8pm and we're wrapping up the day today. A lot has been accomplished today, um, to Sim's surprise. She's always so anxious doing these projects, I don't even understand why she takes it on. I mean, we had a functioning van, we could have just continued. But she likes doing these things, but I'm here to support it. Are we going to be done in two days? I don't think so, to be very honest. Do you think we'll be done in two days? A lot of things we'll take with us to Colombia and done. But I'm excited about Everest's window seat. Hey Tevlu. It is day seven. It's okay. Monday. And it's final day. So me and Andreas today are working on the storage <laughs> behind the passenger and driver seat. Yeah. Pretty much the bed. He's waiting on me right now to hold the cabinetry. Um, and we're gonna be installing gas struts for the very first time. My head was pretty much the <laughs> holding point for every cabinetry before but now we're trying to make it more bougie and fancy all the best all the best oh. ciao all right we got these done only took us like an hour to do but look at that
Perfect. Furniture building is all about covering up your mistakes and I'm gonna show you guys exactly all the mistakes we've made because no van is perfect. No matter how hard you try, no van is gonna be perfect. Sure. Confidence level कैसा चल रहा है तेरा? अभी भी गंदा है? हाँ अरे इतना सारा सामान तो बन गया? नहीं भाई। Storage is under construction. Storage is under construction. Yeah, cut it. Yeah. It's 12 in the midnight. Hi. You're still working. I'm tired. <laughs> well, how do you feel? I'm tired. You're tired? End of day six. Final day is tomorrow. Got a lot of stuff accomplished, and today was like a 15 hour long day. So our Uber is here. We're just gonna go home. And forget your bag. And forget our bag. Good, good. And just knock out. Shower. Shower and knock out. T minus 24 hours to go before the van goes into shipping container. And this is what our furniture looks like. Side storage. That's supposed to be the toilet. Where are you going? Fridge. That's a fridge. Feelings are you going? The plan here today is to not leave this workshop until everything is done. It could take till tomorrow morning. Let's see what happens. So this is our checklist before we load tomorrow morning and that's what we have accomplished. It's a little bit of an update. Pretty sure we have a long night ahead of us. After we load the container, we have to take the flight at 11 so I don't think we're gonna be sleeping till like we hit the flight. Okay last piece of furniture is going in. Let's do this, let's do this baby, let's do this please. Oh. Time to go, so we're just packing up everything that needs to be moved back into the van. 3 a.m., 2 a.m., what time is it? Yeah, it's 3 a.m. 3M, team is still going strong. Two hours to load and finish this baby up. I told you, they're gonna be doing this too. Like, the dinner guy's like, one more, see Ready or not, the shipping container had arrived at the workshop and it was time to put our van inside it and leave the country. As you saw in the last video, we actually did manage to get the van safely in Colombia ready for its next adventure. But in what condition did the van arrive in? Did we finish the van build? What does it look like now? To find out, wait for the next video where we do a full van tour.